What was something you saw you were definitely not supposed to see? When I was 11 I walked into my mum's bedroom and saw my mum and her husband doing a 69. We never spoke about it. Years later when I was 24 she walked into my bedroom and saw my BF naked with a boner. We never spoke about that either. I found a letter between my parents back when my dad was in the army, 10 years before I was born, when cleaning out the house. He was saying how they should get a divorce because it just wasn't seeming to work out. When I was 16 they did end up getting a divorce, I've never talked to them about it. Edit, phrasing. Leaving work late one evening, I saw the HR director and CFO in a dark office shredding papers, no, that's not an euphemism. I didn't say anything but quietly walked on down the hall. Two weeks later we were raided by the SEC and several people were charged with cooking the books. Back in 1997, I started work at a new job and took over the office of a salesman who had recently been fired. I was in IT, using the same computer that had been set up for sales. My first task was to install all the software I'd need. The computer hard drive was almost full, so I poked around and found a TO1 of folders filled with porn. Went to my supervisor, and he said to delete it, warning me that the salesman had been fired for downloading porn. Over the next few weeks, I kept finding secret porn folders on the, the company's network. Not only had he downloaded enough porn to max out his computer's HD, he had the network at about 90% capacity. When I was done deleting all the folders I could find, the server capacity was less than 50%. Dude was seriously addicted to porn. Just two days ago, at a community pool, a teenage couple who entered into the pool area went into the hot tub. Stood up to stretch my legs and looked over to, well, sex in the hot tub. It was midday. I cringed pretty hard, but I laughed even harder when the neighborhood cop showed up. I once arrived early to pick up a girl for a first date. She was renting a small garden apartment behind a bigger house. It was just after dusk and I walked around the corner. The sliding door was standing open and she was inside walking around, brushing her hair, wearing only her underwear. She did not see me, so I just walked back around that corner and waited another 10 minutes. When I walked round again she had a dress on. I never told her. Edit, since a few asked. The date went well. I only got to see her underwear again several weeks later. I was downloading a game on my uncle's computer. So I was looking for the files to complete the setup, and I clicked on a file called Games. Few videos popped up so the curious girl that I am I clicked on one, and there was it. A Chinese girl literally fucking her couch. That was my first porn experience, I was 7 and my sister was 5. And it doesn't stop there, we decided to show our mom, I'll never forget the trauma on her face. When I was about 16, I was snooping in my parents' wardrobe. Found a diary written by my mother when she was 14, from the year 1970. Read some beautiful and brilliantly written entries about meeting and dating my dad, who was 16 at the time. Had to read a little between the lines in some slightly later entries as they were written with such flowery language. In one such entry, all of a sudden she discloses that she's had an abortion. Performed by my grandfather. An anesthesiologist. She never told anyone. I was in elementary school playing basketball, I shot the ball, but it ended up going over the fence on the other side was someone's backyard. My teacher requested that after school I knock on the door of the house where the ball had landed to get it back and so I did. I did not expect a woman wrapped in a towel with one of her nipples revealed to answer the door. I was shocked but carried on with my mission. For those wondering, she stated she did not have the ball. Back when I was a teenager, we hosted a New Zealander at our house for a couple weeks. Guy gets to our place after the flight and about 10 minutes later I'm walking around my house to see where he's at. The door to his room is partially open, and the dude is laying face down on the bed and humping the ever-loving fuck out of a pillow. I backed away slowly like Homer when he saw Apu cheating on his wife. I felt bad for the pillow. 
Years ago a colleague had an old smartphone that he brought in to give to another co-worker as theirs broke. The phone was sitting on the new owner's desk, but she hadn't yet tried it out, as it was still charging after months of not being used. We were talking about how cool it was with the co-worker, smartphones were not widespread yet, and I picked it up to see how it felt in my hand. I pressed a button and the first thing that I saw was a Google search for lump on anus. I quickly put the phone back down. This must have been the last thing he searched for when he last used it a long time ago and forgot about it.